I don't know about you, but I love color. At this time of year in the garden, there is so many colors to choose from. It's really exciting. But color can also be a little daunting. And particularly if you're trying to work through uh, a particular color scheme and you want to create harmony. So what I thought I would do is just start with a simple bed and talk about some of the perennials and shrubs, the mainstays that I've used in this bed and some of my thinking with regard to color theory. If you've ever been to Moss Mountain Farm, you know that uh, we have this Greek Revival farmhouse, which is butter yellow, and you've got all the trim that's white and then the shutters are green and that's pretty much it. Very simple composition. So here next to the house, I thought, well, hey, I've got this hedge, it's green, that serves as a canvas, if you will, to paint a color palette onto a picture. And that's what we've done here. If we start in the back, you can see this magnificent hydrangea, this Annabelle, which is extraordinary. Look at the size of the blooms on her. And then in front, you can see our old friend, the daylily. When you begin to think about buying some daylilies, think about looking into the ones that return, or they bloom again and again, the re-bloomers. All right, as we come forward, you can see this wonderful waft of, of bloom. This is one of my favorite flowers. This is Gara. Now, Gara is a North American native, and it is really a stunner. Um, it's a see-through plant. You can look through and see other flowers through it. It's very light and ethereal. I love it along a path, as you can see here. And in this case, this variety is white. So it works with our theme of yellow and white and green, yellow, white, and green here, keeping it very, very simple. And then along this edge, you can see I've got a bed here that I'm just getting ready to work on. I brought along some compost that I'm gonna work into the soil. And here I'm going to plant some lantana. Now this is one that is really quite beautiful. It has a very soft yellow bloom on it. We got this color of yellow, we have that color of yellow, we have this very pale color of yellow, and that mixture of colors really, I think, adds so much um, in a very subtle way, but it's powerful. Powerful, yet subtle. Well, I hope this gives you some ideas about how to take on a bed. Um, so you can see the tearing down, the tall, the medium, the short here in the foreground, and then being able to look through more through ethereal plants to more solid plants, if you will, and then using as many perennials as you can. And then you have a bed that will come back year after year using some of these great old mainstays. I hope this is helpful. Mm -hmm.